Berkeley middle school teacher, Yvette Falarka, arrested on charges of inciting a riot. It's nice. Some good news, finally. People are actually holding these anarchists and communists to the full extent of the law. Remember when Fred Durst got arrested for inciting a riot? Well, here's a clip from Tucker Carlson Tonight featuring Yvette Falarka. Do you think, you're not answering my question, that people like Milo, who you've decided are fascists, should be allowed to speak in public? You said they weren't allowed to speak at Berkeley. He should Shouldn't not be allowed, be allowed to speak, to speak, speak in corner? public to spread his racist and misogynistic and homophobic lies. No, he does not have the right to do that. Taking a look at the arrest report, she's being held on $25,000 bail. Yvette Falarka, the... Con Yvette Falarka, the controversial Berkeley middle school teacher who frequently marches and protests against groups she considers to be fascistic, was arrested Tuesday night in connection with a violent neo-Nazi rally in Sacramento in June 2016. Police took Falarka, 47, into custody in Southern California on charges of assault by means of force likely to inflict bodily injury, participating in a riot and inciting a riot, according to a press release issued by the Sacramento County District Attorney's Office. Falarka was captured on video hitting a member of the Traditional Workers' Party, a white supremacist group that had taken out permits for a rally on the west steps of the state capitol. Falarka, a member of the group by any means necessary, which implies violence, and other counter-protesters blocked the rally by chasing and hitting and even stabbing members of the traditional workers' party. Falarka was filmed calling a man a Nazi and punching him in the stomach repeatedly while shouting for him to get the fuck off our streets. In September, BUSD put Falarka on administrative leave. The district declined to specify why she was put on leave, citing personal reasons. In October, a roomful of her supporters testified to her teaching abilities and insisted that BUSD reinstate her. Their comments got so heated that the board shut down the meeting for a short period. Falarka returned to her classroom six weeks after being placed on leave. Falarka then filed a civil rights lawsuit against BUSD for suspending her. Court documents revealed that BUSD had placed her on administrative leave because of the district, thought that she was soliciting students to participate in protest and had used personal time off inappropriately. Falarka dropped the lawsuit in May. Nazi, come get the off our street! Get the fuck off our street! Are these people going to do anything? Get the fuck off our street! We don't, don't have freedom of speech! Here you go, boy! Hey, save your shit, you guys! Be nice! Come here, Nazi! Get the fuck off our street! Get the fuck off our street! Get the shit! Oh, fuck you! Sir, please! I'm just here to protest! This is the clip in question that apparently got her arrested, and more and more people are getting tired of all of the violent rhetoric coming from these anarchists slash communists. A lot of this, they shouldn't be allowed to talk because they're speaking hate speech, and then they back that up with violence, which is ironic to say the least. But people are finally seeing the direct threat these type of people pose to a democratic society. Well, anyway, I don't have much to say on this because I more or less just wanted to share this news with you. That this BAM protester, which means that she's directly associated with Antifa, at least in my opinion, it's good news that people are getting fed up and things are starting to get done. Arrests are being made, charges are being brought up against these people, and hopefully we can stop having people being called Nazis and then dragged down to the ground where five or six people kick them while they're on the ground. I'd like to see an end of that pretty soon, but who knows what's coming up because the first half of 2017 was pretty crazy. I can't wait to see what's up in store for us over the next six months. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. I'm going to keep this a bit of a short video. And yeah, you all have a good afternoon. And I will see you all later.